Lola from the Dominican Republic. This month is All Squad Month, which means that instead of splitting up into our individual teams and going to different cities around the country, all 42 of us are together living with one ministry host. This month we're living in the mountains of La Haas de Euroa. We're working with an organization called Hope Dominican Republic. We have the opportunity to do various construction projects around Hope Mountain to go into the local community, do prayer walks, play with all the local kids, and even help rebuild a basketball court. Let me take you on a tour of Hope Mountain. Welcome to the girls' room. This month, 18 of us are sharing one room. This one's my bed, Sayla and Alicia, and we made a lovely makeshift shelf out of a piece of wood and some cinder blocks we found outside. Does the job just nicely. But I have my packing cubes, all my snacks, and all my stuff. Highly recommend bringing command hooks, hang all your stuff up, little birthday sign. My teammates are the sweetest. And over there is Kaden and Catherine's room. And every morning we wake up to this view. We are making other files right now. Yeah, little goodie bags. Of what? Oh, of all sorts of stuff. This is supposed to be like tang. This is like chicken bouillon. And that's a, what's that, Johan? Tuna. And cooking oil, some vinegar, ketchup. We are breaking up this pasta. Nudes. Bags. Nudes. For the families. Court, what are we doing with the bags after this? Uh, we're going to family houses and we're going to give them different foods. We have rice, beans, oil, different things. That's awesome. Yeah. And then you get to pray for them and talk with them and build relationships with them. <laughs> so today we're in a local community called Mocha and we're about to go out and hand out care packages and pray with a bunch of people and just get to know them and spread the word. Cinco de la mañana empieza huevo, oh. huevo. Mira, va riéndose. <laughs> She's laughing because <laughs> her mom's talking about how at five o'clock in the morning Grisela will wake up and say eggs, eggs. La música le encanta. She loves music so much when um, the power goes out, she'll wake, she'll wake up and she'll start saying power, power because she sí. can't listen to her music. She said that she spends the whole day just. Um, washing bottles, changing their diapers, making sure they have something to eat. She'll spend months at the hospital sometimes um, get, giving blood for her daughters, giving them um, blood cells and whatever whatever she can donate to them. She said it's literally a miracle that they're even alive. Most people mm -hmm. yeah. with this condition don't survive this long, but she's mm -hmm. so grateful to God for the time that he has given her with yeah. them. Here you can see the line from the hurricane when the water rose. It came all the way up and flooded a bunch of the houses up here. It says that when, when there was a big flood and the river rose up and it washed all their houses out, she says that everyone from the church extended their a helping hand and that they all came together to help them. Okay. Wow. There was um, a motorcycle accident. A boy was riding a motorcycle and a truck was coming his way. And so in order to avoid the truck, he hit this man here and broke several bones in this area. So he's been in bed because of the accident. This is a true Dominican basketball court. Such a good worker. <laughs> the whole line's a clog, but sorry. Basketball. What do you call this? Court. <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> 
basketball court. <laughs> and we decided that we wanted to replace the backboards because they were pretty rough. So that's what Greg is doing. You're doing such a good job. Finish. Finish. <laughs> what are we doing right now? We are painting this backboard. It's about to be so legit. The whole town's about to come out to hoop with us. What's amazing about this new goal is that it's brought the whole community together. A lot of guys come here just to play on this court specifically, and so since it's been broken, they haven't been able to come. So now, it's just a blessing to be able to play with them. Sayla, what does it mean if you catch a leaf? It's one month good luck. Only one? one good luck. One month per leaf? That's better generous. catch more leaves. Go get them, Say. There's one right there, one right there. <laughs> <laughs> you look crazy. I only caught one. It's my mother's last machete. Alicia, what you got there? Pocket bread. <laughs> Stacking <Please>. bread. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was trying too hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> 